just walked down to the, I believe it's their beach area of the Fuquar. Staying at the Arrow, Arrow Motel, which I highly recommend. Very clean rooms, good service, nice place. This is the end of the golf course. We'll head on down to the lake, part of the Arrow Lakes. Let's see what they got going on down here. parking spot. I've been down here a couple times, just drove down to take a look, and I noticed there's some uh, people boondocking in their van. It's going to be a nice place to spend the night. Logs out in the water. I don't know if that was for uh, docking some boats, maybe. Maybe this is the old, oh yeah, there's a boat launch here. So they'll probably tie their boats off. Warning, Arrow Lakes is a hydroelectric reservoir. Be aware of changes, water levels, submerged hazards, and floating debris. I was going to come snorkeling down here, but maybe it's a good thing I didn't. Who knows what would be in the water. Still very smoky. Here working a checkpoint going into the fire zone. Sounds like they're getting a good hand on it because it's been kind of raining since yesterday off and on. So I think that's helped a lot and the temperature has dropped quite a bit. As far as I know I'm being released tomorrow at noon. So one more night shift. Water to pretty dirty. Yeah, it wouldn't be a very good snorkeling here, that's for sure. But thought I'd walk down even though it is raining right now. Get a little video. Who knows when I'll be here next? ducks or something out in the water there. And there's the end. I don't need to fall in. A bunch of gulls out there. These big high beams. Not sure why they got them so high. Lake level can't go up that high. to the left here and see what we can see. I think there's a little creek running into the lake. Might as well check it out before I head back to the motel. I'm going to try and grab a little bit of sleep and then be on site for 2300. 2300 till noon tomorrow. Kind of a weird shift but that's how it goes in the security business. Fed a little bit by uh, that's kind of interesting. Being fed a little bit by a creek runoff. So 
I'm still looking for a van. Got the idea, this idea of uh, traveling around in a self-contained van, of course. Kind of off-roader a bit. I mean, put a little bit of a lift kit, bigger tires, because I've got to go on some rough terrain once in a while. Travel around doing security work and also checking out new areas. So basically you're getting paid to travel. Sounds like a good idea. Doesn't mean it is, but. Seen a mama bear last night at the site. She had three cubs. You don't see that very often. Yeah, well, there it is, low water, so there's not a big, big amount of water running in. Looks kind of muddy there, so I don't plan on walking down there. Let's see if I can get back up onto the road over here. We made her. See? Already there's a vehicle here. Checking it out. Well, head her back to the motel, get ready for my shift. Take care, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you later. Just thought I'd add a little clip on the end here, just so you can see the Arrow, Arrow Lake Motel looks like, in case you ever want to stop in. Fire department's lining up to go fight the fire some more. job a pretty job meeting every night probably every morning also there's the back of the motel it's actually quite quiet which I like. Some hotels you get in there and you can't sleep because there's all kinds of noise going on, especially when you're on night shift. But this one, he put me off in the corner. Got some good blackout curtains. Finally got a decent sleep. Gondola, I think that's what you call it. Come out and sit, relax. about it. Office over there. 
my room here. Do not disturb. That's my life story. Do not disturb. Microwave, nice fridge, coffee, pretty much normal stuff, but some hotels can be pretty bad. Once again, until next time, take care and be safe.